everyone, welcome back for part 6 of my entire colouring book collection. So we're going to stay with the nature theme and then go on into under the sea, uh, cats and then seasons um, after that. So first book that I've got here is um, The Garden of Earthly Delights which is by Adriana Picker. Um, so this is pretty good paper. Uh, it's got a bit of a cream tint to it. So I've got this whip, um, which is all watercolour. So it's um, pearlescent watercolours and then watercolour background that I need to finish off. I thought I'd done another one. It must be a different book that I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's just got that one in there. Uh, Desert Wonderland by Rachel Reinhardt. Haven't done anything in here yet. So these are some cool images, so that's that one. Uh, Escapes Colouring Book Collage Art. I think this is Martin Noble. Yeah, and this is a Dover publication. Um, and all these images look like collages. Like this. And I have done uh, this one. In pencil and watercolour. Next I've got Coco Wayo Succulents. Um, I haven't started this yet, but I, I really like cacti and succulents are my favourite. And this book has some really crazy images, like it's not just, here's a cactus. It's got this other stuff going on, some cutesy stuff, some wildlife stuff, and then some sort of like modern art type stuff going on. So that's a really cool book. Cactus and Succulent Colouring Book by uh, Colour Questopia. Done this one in Bix and Sharpies, and this one in Tri Plus felt tip pens. Um, I'm not doing the lines at all, I'm leaving them stark white. I like the effect that gives uh, in this book. Creative Haven Floral Design, Colour by Number, uh, by Jessica Mazurkowitz. Quite a few people have got this book, um, and we're just working our way through it. Mystery Mosaics, Flowers, um, by Belba Family. So I've got this one, yeah just that one in there. Creative Haven Stunning Succulents by Jessica Mazurkowitz, as I say, um, cacti are my favourite plants. I don't know, I don't think I've done anything in here, oh I have, I've done this first one. This is all in glitter gel pen. So shading and everything is also with glitter gel pen. So that's that one. Nature Colour by Numbers by Duncan Smith. This is one of the Arcturus Colour by Number series uh, that you keep seeing. <laughs> Told you I had like all of them. And I had to get rid of some because I just don't have the room. But these books... I can't recommend these books enough. The images are really good um, and the books are not an expensive price. Cool your own stickers, nature. Haven't done any of these yet. Uh, but all these are stickers. See the line around them? They're all stickers. 
so yeah so those are going to be good to use in my journals circle of life this is the first book by this fabulous artist um just based on this one book alone this artist became a a must buy you know as soon as you see their name come up um it goes straight in the basket well on a pre-order so i've done this one watercolors i've done another one i'm sure i have i wonder if i'm coloring in my sleep <laughs> that's why i can't find these pictures no there you go um pearlescent watercolors and then normal watercolors and then this is um like pearl drops so they're like 3d so that's that one incredible book just incredible the wondrous workings of science and nature coloring book who's this by Rachel Ignotovsky. 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 That sounded better. It doesn't mean it was right at all. Um, I haven't done anything in this, but they are single sided. Um, so these are going to be good with um, alcohol markers, I think, for me. Look at that. Love it. Very nice. And I'm also interested in getting this uh, Women in Science book, but it's not a colouring book, so I could do with them doing a colouring book version. Okay, then I've got Simple 1, 2, 3, Colour and Frame, three books in one. Uh, Flowers, Deserts and Oceans. And this is by New Seasons Publishing. I don't know if I have um, an artist... No, it says it's all shutterstock images. Um, so I haven't done anything in here yet. So what was the first one? Flowers. These are perforated and as you can see it's spiral bound. Which is nice in terms of um, it being flat as you go. So they're not all flowers. I know it says flowers but there were insects there weren't there? Uh, and then desert. Is of course the cacti. <laughs> um, and then under the sea is under the sea. And I really like him. There's an example of him coloured at the front. Love it. So that is that one. Uh, okay, so let me grab the under the sea books. So this is The Aquarium um, by Claire Scully and Richard Merritt. Uh, I've done this one, which is the Siamese fighting fish. Um, and I've also got this whip um, of uh, one of the seahorses. Next, I've got Beautiful Ocean Under the Sea by Colour Quest Opia. Is that all I've done? No, I was going to say, goodness me. Uh, so I've done these pair in glitter gel pen. I've done this all in glitter gel pen as well. Anything else? No. Okay, I found this book. Um, like literally just found it in a weird little seaside shop uh, so I had to go for this Ocean and Sea Creatures by Ravi Gadu uh, there's the ISBN for you haven't done anything in this yet but how great are these pages so yeah so that's that one
Magic Ocean by Karen Sue Chen. Um, again, haven't done nothing yet. But more beautiful sea creatures. I've got too many sea creatures, so I haven't been able to, <laughs> to colour them all. 50 Ocean Miniatures by Camilla, Camilla Angelkova. I think this one is in the same situation. Oh no, there's one. Yay! So pretty. Spectacular Sea Life Designs by Angela Porter. This is a Creative Haven book. Uh, I've done this and I just need to do the fish with glitter. So I want to do them in all bright colours and glitter gel pen. So another whip. Circlism Art Books by Eclipse. This one's C. No, nope, nothing done yet in that one. Okay, then I've got a Rita Berman book. Uh, De Welt under the Lupe du Wasse. So this is. Um, Through the microscope under the sea. Yeah, something like that. Um, done this one. Got a gel pen, watercolour background. This one I've just done the background so far uh, with eyeshadow. Again, another background. All done in that one. Call Your Own Magical Oceans by Jessica Sakaret. So these are the cardboard posters again. Don't think I've done anything in this one. Unless I've done somebody pirating. So again, there's some work by her and then it's filled up with shutter stuff. So I think this is, no, that's somebody else. I think this is her work. So that is that one, Magical Oceans. Dover Spark, Sea Life Designs by Maggie Swanson. So I've done this one. Done this one, copying the cover. These are just um, alcohol markers. And then I've done this one, obviously with um, metallic and glitter gel pens on the treasure, because how do you not? Mosaic Art, uh, Sea Creatures by Sachin Satch Diva. All I've done is this one. Oh, I've done two. So this is with twi markers and this one is with tri plus colour felt tip pen. Colour therapy, exotic sea life. Uh, these books are really cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. It's all shut of stock. Uh, but good fun images. Um, I wanted it to do this with. So this is just um, glitter gel pen. These are the Link Shine. Um, so yeah, I've just got that whip to finish on. This is another uh, Deco Time glitter book. This one's Sea Life. Haven't done anything in here. So that's that one. Okay. RJ Hampson Pirates. Um really like his artwork. The 
people are so cute. Really good. Really good. Fanciful Sea Life Creative Haven by Marjorie Sarnett. No, I haven't started this book yet. This is the book that you'd assumed I'd have had for years and years, and I haven't, so I've only just bought it. Crazy. So good. Need to get working in that pronto. Under the Sea uh, by Madame Wazelles. This is a crazy colouring book. So somewhere in here there are fish with legs like doing the can-can or something. Let me see if I can find the can-can legs. Or maybe it's them that I'm thinking of. I thought there, there were more. This is what I was thinking of. Like a two-page spread of things with legs. So yeah, that's that one. Art Therapy, 50 Mindful Patterns Under the Sea. Nice one. And here's another one of these little books, Colour Me Mindful Underwater by Anastasia Catris. As I said, I needed the whole collection because it is so great. What were they? Look at them. Oh, yes, I remember this. Reminds me of Frogger. If anyone remembers that game. Really nice pictures. Really little, cute little book. Love it. Creative Haven, Stunning Sea Life Mandalas by Joe Taylor. These are a lot more detailed than I expected them to be. So I haven't got into this yet. Um, but I, I will, they're, they're good. Millie Rotter's Secrets of the Sea. Haven't started this yet either. But that's beautiful. I Heart Narwhals, so this is a Buster book, um, I'm just working front to back in this. I haven't done this page because it's the same as this, so I was on like overload from doing this. But I will do it, I will do it. So, got some um, sparkly sparkly going on. <laughs> So glitter gel pen, um, watercolour pens, some um, pastel backgrounds going on. So as you can see, this is why I haven't done much in the other books, because I've done a ton in this one. Some of these are, are whips, I need to go back and do backgrounds. But yeah, not bad, not bad. That's that one. Art Nouveau, Sea Life Designs by Art Mill. Don't think I've got another artist. No. Another pretty book. Um, Circle is a mark book, Sea Life. So was this the first one ever? Can't even remember now. Done this one. And that's it. 
and then Colour in Heaven Collection Sea Life. Haven't started in here yet. But really good. Got some really top artists in this one. Easy colouring patterns. Um, by Victoria Chocolina. Uh, this is volume three, uh, Underwater World. And then the last one for my um, Under the Sea section is Sea of Colours by uh, Angela Gonzalez. So you don't see this one as much. You mostly see like these girls and like fairies and things. But this is a, a good book. Cute designs, massive eyeball. Um, and really thick, really. So that is that one. Okay, so now we're on to cats. Cat Doodles, Cuteness Overload, uh, illustrated by Ronnie C. Pierce. So, piles of cats doing things. I have done this one. Astrology Cats colouring book by Gem Rossini. I was trying to complete this book um, by doing, as we went through the year, I coloured in the appropriate cat, but just ran out of steam. So we need to give this another, another go, another push. So I also filled in this like as an index. So this is what I've coloured so far. Um, so... I did the Virgo one first because that's what star sign I am. And then you get the information page. So that was done like out of order, but you've got to do yourself first, surely. Okay. So I've got um, alcohol markers and then a glitter gel pen. This one is watercolour paint. And then back to this end of the year, and we've got Aries. Started Taurus, but I haven't finished. So that's my whip, that's what I'm up to with that one. Doodle Cat Colouring Book 1. This is from the Doodle Cat's website by Beth Wilson. Haven't done any of these, but they're like all patterns. And the doodle cats are just really cute. So that's that one. Marie Catoinette, uh, Kitty Wiggs, presents a cautionary tale of excess. Uh, this is by Julie Jackson. Another fun, crazy book. Another Dover Spark, Cool Cats, uh, by Noelle Darling. This is another second hand book that I got. I've done this one. So cute. Uh, this is one that I didn't colour, so again, a little bit of fixing happening. Got this one as well. And there we go. Very cute. Pop 
Posh Colouring Books, uh, Cats and Kittens by Flora Chang. I really like her art style. Really good. All right, these are my whips, are they? Yeah. Um, look at these patterns and the pictures and everything. So good. So I've got this whip. Got a gel pen. This whip, <laughs> hardly surprising, glitter gel pen. Okay, I've done this one. So unfortunately it does come through a little bit. That's just water-based pens. Might have to revert to pencils in here. This is glitter gel pen and that didn't come through uh, too bad, so that's okay. But I've done this one, all glitter gel pen. And I've done this one, water-based marker. Very cute. Cats and Dogs in Secret Places. Um, this is by Waves of Colour. There's a long list of artists, so yeah. I haven't done anything in this. Double-sided. And this is a combination of the two books, the cats and the dog one, put together in one book. Try Animals, Colour Me Cat. Um, so before you saw Colour Me Wild. Haven't done anything in here yet. But the layout is exactly the same with the natural and the vivid colours. So that's going to be super cute. Cats and Kittens by Zen Master. This is a colour by number colouring book. I've done this one. Mm -hmm. Cosplay, cosplay Cats by Jen Rossini. Haven't done anything in here yet. Um, but when I do work in it, I'm going to go straight to... Let's find him. The Cheshire Cat, obviously. Joyful Cats by Coco Wayo. Um, super cute, but some of the cats have bonus bits that perhaps we didn't need to see. So I've done this one. I'm doing this one with all the crazy paws. And then I've also done this jester cat. That's that one. Really good. Cat Spirits by Christina McAllister. I've done the cover page, the title page matching the cover and I've also done this one I think, I think that's it yeah A Million Cats by Lulu Mayo nope I haven't started this yet What are they doing? They're just all a bit ridiculous, aren't they? Look at them, what a slob. <laughs> I should really do that one though, because it was a sheet page as well. Cat Therapy, 100 anti-stress colouring in pages. Um, so this is a hardback book uh, by Yellow Kite. A few different artists have worked in here. 
yeah, that's all it says. So a good mix of different images. I've done this one in neons. I think that's all I've done. Yeah, so this is a second hand book, that isn't me. So yeah, that's all that I've done in here. Next we've got Design Originals, Happy Cats by Oksana Zaker. Zaker, Zaker. Oh, perhaps it isn't there. I've got two by her. Perhaps this isn't the one that I've coloured in. No, I think it must be this one. Yeah, that I've coloured in. So this one is Keep Keepsake Kitties. Again, design original, same artist, same sort of idea. Um, I've done this one. And I've also done this one. <coughs> Mystery Mosaics Wow Cats by Belle the Family. I loved how they've got names Leo the Persian. Um, Meow Colouring and Chill by Maura Summer. Haven't done anything in here yet. Fantasy Cat Special. Uh, these images are by Jeff Haney. This is another artist I wanted books by, and then they brought this out, and this is a good way of just having a sample. And then I've got the Colour in Heaven collection, Cats 2019. This has got this weird one where cats are turned into food. So I've done this one where he's a soup cat. And I've done this one with the cupcake cat. Oh, look at this. Beans. Love it. Really cool colouring, book two, cool cats. This is by these people. So, Kyle Craig Publishing, um, Julie Anson. Yeah, lots of different names on there. Um, <laughs> and this is what this looks like. Like fashionable cats. Cats in fashion. Colourful G toy. Yeah, haven't done anything in here yet. Not sure how to go about it really. I think is part of the problem. Such a pretty book. And the cats are already coloured. Look how detailed all of that is. So, yeah. Maybe I should start with the Alice page. <laughs> Fantasy Cats by Deborah Muller. And then Crazy Cat Girls by Deborah Muller. Yeah, so I've done this one. I 
find the problem for me is that the um, doing the background makes my pens run out. So that's why I started with the Crayolas. That's my cat Saffron and that's my cat Smudge. And that's what they look like. So that's that one. Um, Cats by Mademoiselles. More cat craziness. Again, haven't started this. This is the same artist as that fish book with the can can legs. Pusheen colouring book. Who owns Pusheen? Claire Belton. So I've done this one. Here it is. Um, I've done this one. This one. Dinosaur Pusheen, Space Pusheen, Computer Pusheen. <laughs> Mermaid Pusheen. There you go. Okay. Funny Cat of Lewis Wayne uh, by Ada Ashley. Haven't done anything in here yet, but these pictures are great. Really like them. So good. Cat Life by Coco William. Don't think I've done anything in this one because I got carried away in the uh, pattern, joyful pattern book. So many pictures of them baking. Because um, you know that's how they, that's what they're doing. I love him. I've grown out of everything. There, baking. And there was another one. Baking. <laughs> Very cute. Creative Haven Whimsical Cats by Angela Porter. So this is a pretty new book. Um, so I've done this one. That's all I've done so far. And then my last cat book is Tiny Cats by Coco Wayo. <laughs> cat vending machine. Very cute. Okay, so the last little bit of this video is going to be seasonal books, so I'll just go and grab that pile. Okay, so the first one that I've got is this teeny tiny uh, Bliss Celebrate colouring book by Alexandra Cowell. Um, so this goes at the start of my seasons collection because it covers like loads of seasons. Uh, so seasons, festivals, all that sort of thing. The binding is failing on this. I haven't actually done anything and these pages are just falling out. Very frustrating. But a teeny tiny little book, very cute. Next I've got Just Add Colour Carnival by Sarah Walsh. Uh, I haven't had this for very long so I haven't got anything done in here yet. Uh, Colour Me Masks. 
so I've gone masks being carnival. I know I know all these masks aren't carnival, but what can you do? This is a charity shop find. Um £1.50 I paid for that. Okay. Uh Rita Berman, this is her seasons book. Uh, where um, there's samples from all of her seasons books all in one um, so this is this and um, I apologize I mine Spicer gang do do forensic item yeah there you go I tried I tried Nothing. Stickers. <laughs> Cute. Colour Me Mindful Seasons by Anastasia Catrice. Fairly sure I have got every book in this uh, collection. I will just double check that I have. I'm not missing one. But yeah, really nice. 50 romantic miniatures um, so we're starting to go through the actual seasons now uh, by Camilla Angelkova done this one pencils and gold pen that's it for that book Mardi Gras Masks by Becky Torres. I haven't done anything in here yet, but I want to do um, lots of collaging, 3D embellishments and stuff on it. Stick feathers on um, is the plan. <laughs> Spring Season by Sachin Sachdeva, Colour by Number. Done quite a few in here. Glitter gel pen. Arteza twine markers. Glitter gel pen. That's that one. Spring Scenes, Colour by Number by Colour Questopia. Not that much for colouring people, so I was just <laughs> missing them. Starting from the beginning, but missing them. Oh, look at that whip. That's obviously as far as I've got then. And then I get um, into the mood of just doing the outlining. Fifty spring miniatures. Done that one. And it's got the pearl drops on them. Dinosaurs love Easter. So these are just um, like shutterstock images and then dinosaurs shoved on top of them. See what I mean? So they've done this with other other things. But it's dinosaurs love Easter, so I had to have it. I do like it, it's good. Uh, Happy Easter. Here's this by 
don't think I know. This is a pathetic book. There's the ISBN so you can avoid it. Look how skinny skinny it is. Um, but never mind, never mind. So we've done this one. This is my first Easter book, so, you know, it's okay. They're shutterstock images, so why is there only 30 of them? It's not like you actually drew them. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> Easter Patterns by Nikki Sharma. This is a uh, colour by number. I've done this one. I think this is the only one that I've managed to do this. This Easter, yep. Coco Wayo Easter egg colouring book. So these eggs aren't traditional Easter eggs. They're a bit different. Just did this one with alcohol markers. Um... Okay, Beach, a colouring book by Colour Quest Opia. This is the black line version. Again, not doing the people yet. It. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Art Therapy 50 Mindful Patterns Beach Life. And then Summer Heat. Okay, this is Summertime by Rebecca Jones. It's published by the National Trust. And these are uh, cards and envelopes uh, that you colour. So, this is what the cards are like. So, this is the front, this is the back, and then this is the inside. And it is, um, they're already cut a bit, so they're easy to remove, and they're scored, ready for folding. So that's what these are like. And then the envelopes, these are the envelopes. Again, they're all scored ready. Um, and they've got these patterns on the inside. Um, I would colour this and leave that black and white. And then you even get these stickers to seal the envelopes with. So. Very nice. So that's that one. 50 Summertime Mandalas by Camellia Angelkova. So I did that one with a glitter gel pen. And that one. What a glitter gel pen. That one's fine liners. That's that. 50 Autumn Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. Pretty sure I've got another one in here. But then they all merge into one thing in my memory. Yeah. I do like colouring fruit and veg. <laughs> and then this one's Autumn Miniatures by Camilla Angel Covey.
Autumn by Colour Quest Opia. Again, this is the black uh, line version. Oh, a whip. I think my pen was running out. This is back when the colour key was outrageous. Yeah, just done those two and a half. Winter Mandalas by Colouring Boot Cafe. Haven't done anything in here yet. I bought it out of season. Um, and I, I can't colour the wrong season. I don't enjoy it. Um, so that's that one. And then the last one for this video is Colour by Colours Winter by Kira Shershneva. Mittens. And that is that one. Okay. So that's it for this video. Um, so in the next video, we'll have um, food, random, um, and religion. I could do with um, a food word beginning with R and then I'd have whatever, random and religion. And that would be quite good. Uh, but I don't know. Never mind. Anyway, that, that's what will be in the next one. Uh, so we're getting closer to the end. Um, okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and the, um, the series. Uh, if you are, please do give them a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. That helps to support me and the channel. And I will see you in the next part. Bye.